Political parties vying for victory in the upcoming Ajusu by-election are sparing no effort as they ramp up their interactions with voters to secure their support. The campaign fervor has heightened with the emergence of a former member of parliament for the Ajusu constituency now contesting as an independent candidate. Reporting from the Ashanti region, City News' correspondent Havis Tijani provides insights. With 204 polling stations set up, an estimated 106,812 voters are poised to cast their ballots in the Ejisu constituency by election scheduled for Tuesday, April 30. Among the six candidates are Esther Osei, representing the Convention People's Party, CPP, Kobna Watin from the New Patriotic Party, MPP, Beatrice Wache of the Liberal Party of Ghana, LPG, and three independent candidates, Kobna Ousu Ediomi, Fredia Ajiman, and Atakra Joseph, national and regional executives of the MPP, alongside prominent figures, are actively engaging voters in the constituency to rally support for their candidates, lawyer Kobna Boatin aiming to secure the Ejisu parliamentary seats. It is the state that puts in the resources to develop the place. So the people will not make a mistake and abandon the resources in place of an individual who has no resources to develop uh, the state. I know the people know this. The people are reasonable. They can reason for themselves. They know that whatever was done at the time of, uh, you know, the now independent candidate, it was the state that sponsored, the, sponsored it. And the state is now behind Kwabna Boateng, ready to sponsor the same development. Tensions within the CPP are evident as some executives dispute Esther Osai's candidacy. The party's Ashanti regional chairman is pursuing legal action to challenge Mrs. Osai's candidacy if the Electoral Commission fails to address their concerns. I want to just ask a simple question. Are these very people ready to make CBP grow? What is their essence and their purpose in the party? Me and I'm from Sapankuma Kuma. I've come all the way from Accra. I'll call Chairman Gallo that come and let's support this lady. That is how you get numbers. CPP is already not on the grounds in terms of the police station and the electoral areas. So we need to support and go to the various communities and encourage people to come. And since we've been here yesterday, I am here to inform the people of Ejusso Man that we, we are shocked beyond belief. The response as we, go, we have gone round is unbelievable. The CPP is strategically promoting its candidate, a midwife by profession. What I have seen is from yesterday, we started our com campaign. We start from Ejusu to Kwaso. When that people see us, the way they are happy, it seems they are happy to join CPP again. They recognize what Kwame Nkrumah did. So it motivates me to stand for CPP to help and to educate young ones. Kofi Apalu, founder and leader of the Liberal Party of Ghana, expresses confidence in his candidate's prospects of victory. Anybody who lives in Ejosu and who votes at Ejosu and won the best for Ejosu, this is the best candidate to vote for. All the other rest, they are just waste. You are just waste your vote. So vote for Beatrice Boache. I'm telling you, vote for LPG. She's number three on the ballot. Independent candidate Fredia Ajiman pledges to prioritize constituency development if elected. You see, all the ammunitions and uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, tools for battle, Goliath was uh, having it. But David had just a cut off. But in the name of the Lord, David became victorious. So it's a, it's a, it's a battle. The battle is like David and Goliath. The MPP launches a strong criticism against a former MP contesting as an independent candidate, alleging ties to the opposition party, claims vehemently denied by his campaign team. Despite this, Mr. Ediomi remains optimistic about winning the Ejisu parliamentary seat. My chances of winning, I know it's very bright. It's the people who vote that has called for Ediomi. So I believe 
they will do exactly what they want to do for me, that, that I should be voted for, so that I go to parliament and continue what I did for them years ago. If I lose election, what happens? I'm a civil engineer, I work. I'm not going to parliament because I want money. Accusations of electoral manipulation are held by a Duomis team against the MPP. In Ejiso, discussions about the upcoming election dominate conversations among voters. The MPP eschews confidence in securing victory to maintain control of the seats. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a campaign. All the indications we're getting is that it's an MPP seat, it's an MPP constituency. They're going to vote for the party. We're just here engaging our people for good measure. And in preparation for the 2024 election, we didn't imagine coming here this time to re-elect uh, re a new MP, but waiting for a campaign for presidential election. But what has happened, we're just taking the opportunity to canvas the constituency, reinvigorate the party spirit in the constituency, so that we'll carry the momentum from here to 2024. Road construction projects intensify within the constituency ahead of the polls. At the Ejiso office of the Electoral Commission, officers diligently prepare for Tuesday's by-election with most electoral materials ready except for the ballot papers, according to officials. Flags of political parties contesting in the Tuesday's by-election have been hoisted at vantage locations within the Ejiso constituency. Posters and banners of respective candidates have also been displayed in communities within the constituency. Undoubtedly, the political fever has engulfed a constituency that is still mourning the demise of its sitting MP. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Edisu constituency, Ashanti region.